I'm Steve Shamraz. Here are your TMJ4 News headlines. Three people now arrested in connection to the mass shooting on Friday at Mayfair Mall. The suspected shooter is a 15-year-old boy. Wauwatosa police say he was arrested along with two other people after a traffic stop in the city of Milwaukee. They also recovered a gun they believe was used in the shooting. Police say the gunfire started after an argument. Most of the eight victims are now out of the hospital. The Green Bay Packers taking a step toward allowing fans at games this season. The host about 500 employees and their families for Sunday's matchup against the Chicago Bears. The team calls it a trial run for their COVID safety protocols. They're hopeful the team could host ticketed fans in the next few weeks. No fans until further notice at Pfizer Forum. The Bucks announcing on Monday stands will stay empty when the NBA tips off next month. The team says it will continue to work with state and local health officials to come up with a possible return for fans at games later in the season. Coronavirus numbers took a dip on Monday after Wisconsin's deadliest week of the pandemic. The state health department reports about 3,000 new cases and six deaths. Monday numbers are usually the lowest as we come off the weekend. Day four of the Milwaukee County election recount. The Trump campaign keeps objecting to absentee ballots during that recount. So far, no votes have been tossed because of their complaints. A handful of votes have been added to the totals. Eight of the county's 19 municipalities have finished their portions of the recount. It just shows that uh, accurate uh, elections in, in Wisconsin are very accurate, uh, transparent, and um, we'll see that again when this thing's all done. The Trump campaign could still potentially file a lawsuit seeking to have thousands of absentee votes tossed after the recount is over. Now, let's go to meteorologist Brian Goddard for a check of the weather. After a nice stretch of weather through the weekend and Monday with sunshine and frosty start and temperatures in the 40s for high temps, well, things are about to change. Clouds increase tonight. We'll have a wintry mix move in by morning. So, yes, roads will be wet for that morning commute, and there will be some snow flying as well. The first accumulating snow of the season could see about an inch or less around the Milwaukee and the lakefront, one to two inches of snow by mid-morning uh, in the inland areas. Whatever snow we get quickly melts as temperatures get into the 40s. Rain is likely throughout the day. It'll be windy as well with temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. It continues to be rainy and foggy on Wednesday, a high of 47. We'll pick up about an inch of rain from this system. This could have easily been 10 inches of snow, uh, 50 on Thanksgiving Day, and then for the weekend, highs in the 40s. That's a look at your forecast. Here's some local news.